2023 is here and 99% of people will fall back on their goals and on their habits because of these three major mistakes that they make in their planning. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. What do you think these three mistakes are going to be? Pause this video right now and let me know in the comment section. This is the biggest problem with new year resolutions, right? This is why you're not able to stick with a habit achieve the big goal that you have for the next year and i will tell you how can you fix it and at the end i will also show you a very powerful tool that will help you build a system that will keep you accountable for all of these habits and all the goals that you want to achieve so if that sounds interesting make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel the first biggest mistake people make is that they write down the goals in actionables. For example, I want to read 52 books next year. I want to lose 20 kilos next year. I want to learn programming and get myself a high paying job next year. The problem with this approach is that the brain now thinks that you have to do the work to get to that place in life. You need to start working out. You need to put in the hard work to learn a skill. You need to do all of this work. And the way our brain works is that we are lazy to do anything. The brain is lazy, the way humans are built, we are lazy by design. And because of that, you will feel it's much harder for you to reach that big goal of yours. What you need, however, is an approach of imagining yourself at the end of the 12 months. So you say that, I have 15% body fat. I have read 52 books a year. I have made seven crores this year. I have made this life. When you imagine that life in your head, the steps become clear, right? So always make sure that you think of it in present tense. Whatever you want to achieve, think of it like you've already achieved it and then see the path created by your brain to get to that place in life. So that's number one, the biggest mistake people make. Number two, most of you are too vague in what do you want, right? Like people are like, I just want to be rich. What does rich mean to you? Does rich mean having a four BHK house in Bangalore or does it mean having choppers and private jets and line of Lamborghinis and Bugattis? What does rich mean to you? Define it, granular, tell me the number. Tell me what exactly will your life look like when you become rich according to your thought. I want to become fit. What does fit really mean? Do you want to be lean bulk? Do you want to be muscular like those weightlifters? Or do you want to be skinny? What do you really want from life? Most people can never point down what they want in life and because of that, they can never create a step-by-step -step plan, a roadmap to achieve it in the first place. So make sure that you are descriptive enough in what you really want from the next year. The last mistake people make is to have an outcome-based goal instead of having an input based goal right like i can say that you know by the end of the next year i want to have a million subscribers on my youtube channel now this is a goal that is not in my control particularly right like youtube will work on its own the only thing that i can control however is to create high quality videos so my goal should be how can i create a hundred high quality videos that will be engaging for my audience on YouTube next year. Now, when I do that, I can control a lot of those factors that go in the way I communicate, the way I edit the video, the way I speak in the video is what I can work upon. Instead of having a goal to lose 15 kgs this year, maybe you can make it simple by saying that I will hit the gym every single day and do exactly what my personal trainer tells me to do. In this case as well, you are focusing on the input, on the hard work that you can put in to get to this goal in life. And when you do that, you will feel a lot more content in the work that you're doing because now you can control everything. So these are the three big mistakes people make and how can you fix them? The next actionable that you need to take is to list down all of the goals that you have. And in this video, I will now talk about the best tool that you can use for doing exactly that. 
This tool is Notion. It is an easy to use platform that you can use to commit to your goals and habits and actually see them through in this next year of 2023. It's a tool I have been using for the past four years right now and it has helped me build my own YouTube channel and make sure that everything is strategized and organized and everything is just in one place in front of me, customizable to my own liking. Also, a huge thanks to Notion for sponsoring this video, but now let me show you a free series of templates that you can create to organize your life, set up your habits, your goals, and stay accountable to it with the help of Notion. So this right here is Notion, a great place to plan and track and keep everything that you have in one place itself. This right here is my resume. Going down, I also have my personal space where I keep track of all of my finances, the important links, blogs, the reading notes that I have, all the important books or blogs that I'm reading and what am I learning from it. After that, I also have the content powerhouse. This is basically how I am taking care of all of the videos that go out on my YouTube channel. So this is what that looks like. It's all planned right here in Notion and I can customize whatever I want. And I can also invite people as I like. So for example, I can share this with Simon, who is my manager, who helps me take care of my YouTube channel. So I've shared it with him or I can also share it with Saransh and I can just invite him like this. I can change the permissions, can comment and can click on invite over here as well. Now, this is what Notion essentially looks like. We also have the complete company workspace right here. This is MarketUp, my own agency, and we take care of all the clients that we are working with, the employees that we have, the pitches that we have, the logs of all the payments that we are doing. It's all right here on Notion itself. But now let's talk about how can it help you to build and organize your life in 2023. So this is how you want to do it. There are a series of templates that I will put in the description that you can download for completely free. And through that, you can build a great system on Notion for 2023 itself. The first step is to review your 2022. Before we move to 2023, it's important to understand what did you learn from this year particularly. So that is why we have this template right here. Again, the links of all of these are going to be in the description. First of all, we have people. What am I extra grateful for this year? What did they give me? What did I give back to them? Who deserves the biggest thank you this year? Write it down in this workspace itself. This is like a questions that they are asking to you and you just need to fill the answers right here. The experiences that you had. What experiences did I have this year? What did those experiences mean to me? What did I learn from each one? What is a memory from this year that makes me smile? What is a memory from this year that makes me sad? So you know what this year was all about, right? So you write down all of these things right over here. What were the game changers? What were the top learnings? What are the areas for you to improve? And a few things about yourself, your strengths, your values, your behaviors. It's all right here in this one template. So once you fill all of these, now we can move on to this new year 2023. It starts out with the simple resolutions, right? Nothing too crazy, just a list of all the resolutions that you have, all the goals and habits that you want to build in this new year. So you first write it down. That is the first step. Most people are just having a vague idea of what they want, but you need to first of all write down the step by step things that you want to achieve, right? So it could be maybe swimming for three times a week. It could be getting promoted in the work that you're doing. Maybe it is you trying to save more money. Maybe it is you trying to invest more money. So you enter all of those resolutions right here. What you can also use is another template called as the New Year's Vision Board. Now with this, you can again write down all of your goals and you can view all of your goals right here in this nice looking catalog, right? So these two places are connected, the vision board and the 2023 goals table, as you can see right here. Essentially, the way this works is that once you click on duplicate, it will be saved in your Notion dashboard itself. And then you can click on any of these and you can start writing down how do you want to exactly hit the gym three times a week and you can note down every single thing right here. So once you have an idea of what you want to achieve and you've noted it particularly on the Notion uh, page, next step is to track all the habits that you want to build. And that is what you can do with the Notion Habit Tracker template, right? Again, this is for free. Link is in the description. It's go download. Karlo. It's very helpful. 
and this will help you keep more organized and focused. The way this works is that first of all, let's just say we have this list, right? These are days that are grouped by weeks for every single week in 2023. So for this case, we have January 1st, 2023. I'll just click on open right here. As you can see, when I do that, this is what I have with me, right? So this is the list of tasks that I need to complete every single day. This is the habits that I'm trying to build for this new year, which is first of all, sleeping eight hours every single day. It can be seven hours for you. It can be eight and a half hours for you. You can completely customize it to your own liking by just clicking over here and clicking on edit property. Then journaling, did you journal or not? If you did, just click on tick. And when you do that, you can see this ring being filled. So this was January 1st. Likewise, we can create the same for January 2nd, January 3rd, January 4th. And as you can see, this will create this table for you. Did you run every single day? You can have a look at that right here. Did you meditate? You can have a look at that right here as well. So this will make sure that you stay accountable and you can see exactly which days you fall short of completing the task, right? So this is one thing. You can also view it in a calendar view right here. So it would look something like this. And when you will see that completed ring every single day for the whole month, that will make you even more confident in your own self and it will raise your self-worth, right? So you make sure that you do this particular thing. It will be a huge confidence boost for you particularly. What you can also use is that 2023 yearly goal tracker, right? A BBA template that you can use. It's very simple, pretty much the same thing. You enter all of the goals that you want to achieve for this year. It could be, you know, starting journaling. It could be running for 10 hours a week. It could also be calling a friend, buying a new car getting verified on social, moving to a new place and you can enter is this a year long goal or is this a personal resolution that you have An year long goal could be a one off thing, right? Like buying a new car. That's a one off thing. But calling a friend once a week is something that you will be doing recurring every single week. You'll be calling your friend. So once you specify that down below, you can see the habit tracker. Now, every single day, this will create a new card automatically that you can then click and start filling in. Again, here are check boxes. Hai. So you can just click on these and this will start filling up the ring for you particularly. Again, you will have to click on duplicate when you click on the template and it will save in your notion workspace. Then you have these quarterly goals. When you click on Q1, you can have a look at January. Like what were your goals that you wanted to accomplish in January? Was it losing five kgs or was it particularly reading two books or was it, you know, going for a jog every single day in the morning? You write all of those things down. And then at the end of the month, you reflect on it. So you say, what did you accomplish this particular month? Right? So you write down those three, four things. What did you fall short of? Right? Like what promises you could not keep up with yourself? You write that, those down as well. And this will give a perspective of how far you've come in your journey, right? So this is really important. So you can do it for every single quarter and this make sure that if you ever feel that you're falling behind, you can correct your course by looking at these quarterly goals that you want to hit. Then you have the life dashboard. This is a great place to write down all of your life goals, right? First of all, what is your most important goal? For me, it is to improve my physical health in this new year. My second important goal is to build my YouTube channel to a million subscribers, ideally to 1.3, 1.4 million by putting out high quality videos. And the third goal that I have is to travel, is to meet more people. So you write all of these goals right here in your live dashboard. The next step is to write all the outcomes that you have for this particular week. For me, this could be creating four or five videos, creating about 10 to 15 reels. So I will write all of those outcomes, right? In this particular section of this template. And then I have the everyday daily tracker. In this case, you will put down a habit you want to focus on. It could be clearing your emails every single day. It could be moving every single day. And then you can check all of these right here as you can see in front of you so that is literally how it works moving down you can enter all the tasks that you have for every single day like for monday what do you want to do for tuesday what tasks do you have for wednesday what do you want to focus on and then you can also create tasks for monthly quarterly six monthly and yearly timelines 
and then you can focus on the next actions that you have like for me my next action is to edit this particular video my next action is to make more reels my next action is to research my next action is to read more books so you can write all of these things right here you can put in the the category for these as well and then you can click on done so that is literally how this works right here moving down we also have the projects that you want to work on this new year like for example i am working on a new instagram page i am working on a new book coming out i am also writing one other book as well so i can write all of those projects right here and the progress of them over here as well right so this is a very powerful live dashboard that you can set up for yourself that will make sure that you are keeping yourself accountable with the goals that you want to achieve for this new year and again you can do it all with the help of notion right here and the last one i want to show you is called as the personal development plan now with the help of this you can write down what do you want to achieve in this particular year in a lot more granular detail for example they have questions in this template like where do you want to grow right like what is the most important to you in terms of your career growth for me that is new experiences for me that is having a bit of risk for me it is trying to build something big so i can write all of these things down right here the next step is what do you want to be known for right so for me that could be freelancing that could be agency business that could be overcoming challenges and i can write all of these things down right here what are my career goals like i can list it down over here what do you want to focus on like strengths that you want to improve upon you can write it down over here moving on how will you work on your strengths what is your action plan like you can also put that down right here again it's all made up for you you just need to go in and start filling in all the details and that is the best part that i like about notion templates they are free and they are hyper customizable and they just help me to get started really quickly so these are all the things you can do with the personal development plan and that is how you can organize your life on notion in 2023 and make sure that you stick with your goals and with your habits for this new year again you can check out notion with the link in the description i use it every single day for my business as well as for my content and i hope you will try it out yourself as well thank you so much for watching make sure that you share this video with a friend of yours you can tag me on social uh, again huge thanks to notion for sponsoring this video may 2023 be the best year of your life thank you so much if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section as well the links of these templates will be in the description if you want to have a look at them that's all i'll see you in the next video